you are an sap consultant but don't know what are the kinds of the projects in sap and of course in every interview the primary questions asked is on the types of the projects what hi everybody this is mvk i have 25 years of experience worked around 15 countries managed and also recruited thousands of resources currently i'm working as a director in one of the big four companies in dubai please subscribe share and also like this video so that this will reach to all the people and it is useful in this Thank video we will talk about what are the various kinds of sap projects and we will go in deeper what is sap implementation and how does the sap implementation happens sap implementation what do you mean by sap implementation if there is a customer who is currently using any system or if they are not at all using any system or probably might be dependent on excel or manual in such case if the company grows ideally they would like to go ahead and get one of the software in the market and get it implemented in their organization so there is a selection process based on their business transactions business functions they will go ahead and decide one particular product usually any mid to big size companies they will go with one of the erps nobody want to invent a new product invest on building a product and use it usually they will go for a ready made product and obviously sap can be one of the right fit for the erp let us assume that there is a company which want to implement sap in their locations now we need to take couple of names here let us assume that tcs is the company who is implementing and let us take example as dmart is the company who want to have the sap in their office or environment now once the dmart has been finalized sap the next step would be tcs will go ahead and implement sap do you think tcs will just go and just put a cd there and run through and this application get implemented no obviously if you are an sap consultant uh, trained in sap obviously you might be knowing that there are certain things to be done correct now as a process what happens whenever a particular project is finalized in regular terminology in it terminology this is a project right so tcs as an organization won the project and it need to implement that in dmart when it decided to implement that what happens first there will be a po issued from the dmart to tcs with so and so value with so and so scope of work obviously scope of work will be there now the agreement is that it will go for maybe 8 months with x amount tcs have a budget and the scope of work the scope of work primarily will be the kind of modules to be implemented dmart will have lot of departments lot of functions at a very first instance itself we can't go ahead and implement everything so usually there will be a boundary let us assume that dmart asked tcs or tcs proposed to dmart saying that okay we will implement initially sap for your following departments will automate your finance department your procurement department your sales department and hr department so this is the scope of work fair enough now the tcs as it has won the project what it will happen is they will initially agree on the start date let us assume that it will be starting from 1st of january next year so by 1st of january the team need to be ready so tcs will set up certain resources for this project obviously for any project there should be a project manager there will be functional consultants in this case hence there are four modules you will be having one fic work consultant one mm consultant because you are talking about procurement and one hr consultant is sap hr consultant and also you will have 
is deconsolidating because you have sales and distribution. So there are four members and the product has been finalized and they will start from the 1st January. The project usually can be executed on-site or offshore. When you say on-site, the entire team will go and sit at the customer location and execute. Offshore means the team will sit in the TCS office and execute. Usually implementations, majority of them will be on-site. There will be a little bit of offshore in between where you will come back, but it will be majority on-site. Now let us get into a detailing session. The implementation of any SAP project will go in five phases, which is called as Activate Methodology, SAP Activate Methodology. So the SAP Activate Methodology will have five phases. Number one, Prepare Phase, Explore Phase, Realize Phase, Deploy Phase and finally Run Phase. These are the phases in which the product is getting implemented. If you are an IT guy, you might have studied software development life cycle, right? SDLC will be there, right? Likewise, there is a methodology for any product and SAP also have a methodology. So that methodology is typically called as SAP Activate Methodology and these are the five phases. Now, let us go and discuss what will be there in each phase. So I will be talking at a very high level. I don't want to make this is a massive session. Down the line, we'll discuss more and more. For now, it, it is going to be an introduction session so that you understand basic fundamentals. The, in the five phases, within the prepare phase, so the team is ready, already project manager team is ready there. So what will happen in the prepare phase is, the team will collect as is processes of the organization. Like meaning, you as a team, when you go there and talk to the customer, you will understand what are the current processes within the finance department. The finance consultant is already identified. This guy will go and talk to the finance department within DMART. You have sales guy. The sales guy is nothing but a SD guy. This guy will go and talk to the sales team within the DMART. Similarly, it happens for all the modules. Now, when you go and talk to them, obviously, you can't go and talk to everybody there within the department. Usually, there will be a guy will be identified who will be the spark for you. We call them as core user or end user. I have prepared one document on core user and end user. It is available in SAP series playlist. Kindly check in the playlist so that you know exactly what he is doing. So the core user or end user who is identified by them, the guy will be working with you. Now you have a SAP finance consultant from the TCS side and there is a guy sitting opposite who is a core user working with you. How it happens in the prepare phase, there will be workshops wherein on a daily basis it will be done. You will go and understand. If you are a finance guy, you will understand how they are doing the general ledger, how they are managing the account receivable, how they are managing account payable, how they are managing asset accounting. In terms of controlling, what kind of cost centers and profit centers they, they may need it. Basically, they may not have that if at all they are in an Excel mode, right? So that you need to understand, you need to, when you talk to the middle level management and also when I say middle middle level management, head of finance and also you may going and talking to CFO also. I, I took finance as an example. This applies for every department. So you collect all this information, you will take this entire thing, understand as is. Based on this, you will be preparing obviously a 2B document, right? So there is a contradiction in the industry. Somebody prepare blueprint, somebody will not prepare, somebody prepare something called SDD, solution design document. That depends on the organization to organization. Let us assume that you are preparing. So when you prepare a blueprint document, you will be preparing a 2B, like what kind of 2B scenarios will be there. You will go ahead and take how the general ledger looks like, how account receivable looks like, how account payable look like. That entire thing, including processes, you will map them in the word document and you will prepare it and you will walk through the document with them in the prepare phase you have collected the information in the explore phase is something where you really start preparing this document in a detailed way so the explore explore phase at the mid of the explore phase at the end of the explore phase what you will do you will submit this document to the customer the customer will review and give their inputs whatever it is once you agree with that they agree with that finally it is signed that is what will be configured in the system. Now you will come to the realize phase. Realize phase is the case where 
you already agreed what kind of scenarios they need see sap is a package product right why we prepare blueprint it is a package product there will be lot of scenarios when i say package product meaning it will have lot of scenarios that particular business may not be needed all of them so you will agree what is that they needed in the blueprint document there may be cases where something they will talk about which is not there in sap those things are the developments and those things you will capture them as gaps in the blueprint document right so you spoke i spoke about more on the blueprint now so we have done with that and we'll go to the so, next stage in the realize phase what happens you agreed the blueprint based on the agreement done what you will do is you will go ahead and configure the system you might be knowing the configuration let us assume that i have took finance as an example let us take sales and distribution you might have already taken how many kinds of sales cycles are there is there a third party sales there are various kinds of sales right all that you might have captured in the blueprint that particular whatever which you captured the scenarios in business processes which you captured in the blueprint that you will start configuring your pricing methods or whatever that you will configure here in the realization phase in the system so the configuration is something which you will do independently once you configured obviously there will be certain integration points with all other modules right this is the reason why i always says that do dummy project do live project with your colleagues as well right this is what i keep on saying now coming back to the point in the realization you will do the configuration when you do the configuration what happens you will do your testing first how does sales order look like how does inquiry look like how does billing document look like all these things of course there is a dependency each and every consultant will do its own configuration and whatever the cross module configuration also will be done that is what something you will be agreeing and each of you guys will do that particular configuration once the configuration is done you will do your own testing typically we call them as unit testing then testing is done then all of you will go ahead and do the rest of the kinds of the testings okay there is various kinds of testings which will be done all these testings are done which when the cycle is running perfectly fine your inquiry is getting generated your properly sales order is getting generated and billing is happening outbound delivery is i mean happening so the entire cycle is running then it is fine then you will call the customer and you will ask them to test when you call your customer and ask them to test it is a it is a lengthy process the way which i am saying it looks like very simple but there are a lot of activities to be done in detail so the project manager will support you on this and he will make sure this has been executed so now when you start executing this so customer side you have core user where he will bring the resources in the system and they will check the scenarios if they are working fine you are done you are absolutely done so then once it is done what you will do in the deploy phase you are going to the deploy realize phase is done now you will go to deploy phase what you will do in deploy phase deploy phase is nothing but there is an existing data right customer there is a lot of customer data available if you are a sales guy there may be 10000 or 15000 whatever customers data that entire data you load there may be gls which we we prepare as part of finance that we will upload there will be assets which will be there that we will upload so the entire data which is supposed to be made available once you go live that activity will be done primarily in the deploy so you take the entire data that entire data you will upload in the deploy phase there is various methodologies how you upload and uh, what kind of tools you use all that stuff will be there so you are uploading the entire data in the deploy phase simultaneously you are talking to only person one person or few people few few people within the department core user or key end users right but there are there may be every department at the end of the day there may be 10 or 15 or 20 or 100 people or 200 people will be using sap those people need to be trained right the training also happens in the deploy phase so one on one hand deploy training has happened on one hand data is getting uploaded and finally the production system the basis guy whom i have given um, a, a comprehensive detailing in a separate video that guy will come into the picture here he will get the system ready because the users who are coming and using this they also need to have the access right the entire thing he will send so all these things are done everything is working fine so data got uploaded training is done system is ready of course system starts first then the rest of the things happens system is ready with all the security then system is ready then we'll say officially as yes, this is go live i started my project in the on first jan and i will say that okay i'm uh, i'm going live on first of september first of september officially we'll give system to them then after this run what is run run is nothing but support 
because once the system has given to them obviously what happens there will be issues coming in people might be doing errors and there may be some bugs all those things sometimes support can be done one month three months it depends on the project to project so once the run is done all the issues are fixed or whatever or maybe small mix issues are there they will fix and whatever handover is done then your project is done so this is the typically an sap implementation this is how sap implementation happens okay hope this is useful for you i'm i'm a bit fast in explaining this but you know given the timing i don't want to spend a lot of time on this so i just made it very quick and crisp explanation go through each and every point which i mentioned and probably down the line i will prepare a, a, a big doc, a big uh, documentary or a video where we will see each and every phase details in a detailed way for probably we will we'll, we'll see based on my time availability all the best guys and if you like this kindly share with your friends who are working or want to join us at this